Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam and this channel is dedicated to helping people like you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well in today's video I'm going to go over another question of yours and this question is can I put more than one wire into the commons and in one of the taps? The answer to that question is yes. You can put as many wires as you want into the common tap and the other taps as you want as long as it doesn't exceed a certain amount of watts. So let me explain that. So each transformer has a certain amount of watts that it produces of electricity. The different watts of a transformer range from a 60 watt transformer to about a 900 watt transformer. So let's say you have a 150 watt transformer. If you add up all the watts of lights in your yard that you're connecting to wire and that wire is going to the transformer, so let's say you add them up. So let's say that they're all five watts and you have 10 five watts. That's gonna equal 50 watts of electricity going to the transformer. You have a 150 watt transformer, you're golden. Now, can you use that full amount of 150 watts in a transformer? The answer is yes, but it's highly recommended that you do not. It's recommended that you only go up to 80%, some people say 75% of the max capacity. So if it's a 150 watt transformer, 80% of that is 120 watts. So if you add up all the lights in your front yard or the yard that you have all the lights in and it goes to the transformer, if it goes over 120 watts, you need to realize that that's not the recommended range and you should probably upgrade to a bigger transformer so that you don't run into any problems. The reason for this, just think about it as your car. So your car can go up to however many miles per hour, let's say 150 miles per hour, just like a 150 watt transformer. Now, if you went that fast, your car would be revving at the fastest it can go and there are different complications that come from that. Is your car able to do that? Yes, it's not recommended that you do that to a car. That's the same thing with the transformer. So between 75 and 80% of that max number is what is recommended, nothing past that. Now another piece of that is there are different transformers that have multiple commons. So instead of just one common, they'll have two commons. When they have two commons, it is recommended that you split the lights half and half. So if you have 100 watts of lights going to the transformer, put 50% of that on one common and then the other 50% on the other common and you can split it up that way. If you fill 80% of the transformer wattage, it is recommended that you kind of share, you kind of spread it out in the different taps. You don't have it all in the 12 or 13, 14 or 15 volt. You kind of spread it out. And a way to spread that out would be any lights that are closer to the transformer, put it on the 12 volt. And the farther away it is, you put it on the 13, 14 or 15 volts. If this was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll answer it there. And I'll also answer it by making a video and putting it into this playlist to help you and others who have that same question. If you're interested in learning more about how to install a landscape lighting system from start to finish, I have a playlist that you can find on my YouTube channel. Also, I have a free PDF download that you can find in the comments below. Best of luck with your landscape lighting project, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.